we're back. Uh, Alright, I think I've been able to record this just fine, so I think from now on I can start doing LPs. Uh, anyway, if you happen to watch this, please leave a comment, let me know what you think, any tips or criticism. And let's get started. Um, if you're wondering what happened last time, I picked up a power-up down here that allows me to jump higher than uh, half an inch. So, let's get ready to go. Get our second power-up, the map. The only real reason it's a power-up is so you can, uh, well, really, just so you can see how to control it. And at this point in the game, if I touch one of those guys, it's just as deadly as these spike traps here, so this game's a little cruel that way. Yes. Also, I don't remember how much spikes take away, but... At this point, they're instant death. I think later they'll only shave off your health. Let's see here. I'm not going for that one. I need something else later. Now, one thing you'll immediately notice about this game is the music is fantastic. Uh, save one. Uh, it's done by... Oh. <laughs> now you see why you save a lot, because that will happen to you. Just random deaths. Um, in fact, uh, power-ups used to not freeze you in mid-air, so you could actually just get a power-up and die like that. But uh, the music in this game is downright awesome. It was done by, I think, I think he calls himself Prophecy. He has a website up right now. Uh, yes, the sword. And his music is beautiful. You ought to check it out sometime. Alright, we got a weapon again. Now, I can kick some ass. Of uh, rocks, apparently. Also, uh, interesting, I don't really know how this game's coded, but uh, apparently whenever you jump through into something and you hit the sword button, you're invincible, I think, with these enemies at least. Because I ran into them with the sword out and still lived. I think you can kill those guys through the wall. Uh, I'm not sure if that's potential. Oh! Uh, yeah. Just to let you guys know, I might die a lot. If that happens too much, don't worry. I'll edit it out. It's, uh... I'll take the time to do that for you guys. Yes. Uh, one of the cooler things about this game is the way the platforms are set up. Uh... Instead of like a typical flat, oh son of a, instead of a typical flat platform uh, style, everything's actually pre-drawn, and there's a special coding program he used, or a special program he used that lets you just walk across it. Uh, it works pretty well, except for there are moments where your momentum gets cut off because of a little jagged spot or those those stupid spikes in the ceiling will just knock you out of the air. It's it's a mixed bag, this game. It It's really one of my favorites, and I like it, but oh, it can be frustrating. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna end up cutting something, I imagine. Come on. Later on, spikes don't become a problem, but at 3 HP, I, I do have to worry about them a little. Man, it was so, such a good start. I have beat this game with only one health point, if you can believe that. It's uh, really just trial and error since there's so many save points everywhere, so you can just keep respawning and trying again. Finally, there we go. And, uh, pretty simple to know. And I'm being stupid this time. Let's see here. I'm gonna go down below. Oh, I shouldn't have gone down below. Could have gotten an extra health point. So you know what? Yeah. I don't want you guys to watch me die a lot, so I'm gonna go back and get that uh, health point. Don't worry. You don't get any reward for killing enemies. I'd almost say that's a bad thing, but I guess I've been playing way too many RPG-ish type games. Or you gotta grind for experience, so killing people's important. Yeah. 
Combat in this game is also pretty cool, because uh, it's simplistic as all get out, but you'll find there's a certain... There's all kinds of nice little tricks, like you, the sword wielding dudes, you can parry their sword hits if you uh, time it just right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why Hell is populated with angels. Uh, I guess they get really bored on their downtime. Also, lava, always instant death. I don't think, even if you get all 15 health points, I believe it is, you still die. Ah, signal, checkpoint. Yeah, there we go. I was worried I was going to spend a lot of time dying, but I think I think I don't have to do any editing or anything. It's pretty straightforward. Yes. Uh, I feel like I'm playing Metroid now, because this power-up just lets you do a speed booster. You can't run through blocks, which is kind of sucks, but you do get to do some pretty cool jumps, which I, I love. By the way, the red dots I'm picking up, they may seem a little pointless. That's because at this point they are. Ah! Stupid Bowman. This is why 1 HP is very hard. I, it's not. It wasn't fun, I was just really bored with the game. I really wanted to get a little bit more out of it because I liked it that much. Uh, when I originally came here, I thought the red orbs were what you had to do to open this. Uh, but it's more like braid. It's just simple. Kill as many enemies as possible. Oh, where do we start? Oh, thank God. This game is cruel, but Banav is apparently somewhat kind. I hate to be that guy, but I think that key's a bit of a cop out on the power-ups. Couldn't have. Thought of anything else to just add immediately. I like the flash, only not quite as cool. Actually, not quite as cool, not nearly as cool at all. There's actually, uh, there's actually quite a bit of secrets in this game. Um, I think in the end the map starts telling you where everything is, but uh, but some of the items are actually hidden in, in invisible walls and the like, it, which can be a little frustrating. But you know, most of the items you can get through most of the game are all the same. It's not until much later, whenever you have resources. Get everything. Come on. Don't know why that jumping's kind of giving me trouble. I don't know why I meant much late. Why I said uh, much later. This game is actually very short. We're getting the second to last power up already. Should be. Oh. I'm gonna be quiet. I'm just gonna 